Ow. 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 I can't get the shell. Fuck. What's up guys? Right, today is the next morning. Last night I went around Bella's house, went to watch a new alien film, do you know what it is? I like to eat people from other planets, especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth too. That's what it is. And we went to, to Wagamama's and I love Wagamama's, I had something new, but yeah. So, trying to keep social, eat out, but eat clean as well. Wagamama's is the best place for it. That's the next day. Gotta go have a back and buy sesh. I got a new tripod, so now I can get good angles and not be all over the floor and shit for you guys. And then I gotta get my hair cut because it's disgusting. And then I gotta clean my car because it's even more disgusting than me. And then I'm going out again tonight for food and a couple of drinks with some friends. So it's a busy day. Let's hit it. Let's be social and lean all at the same time. And I've just let you know, guys know what I've eaten so far is one protein brownie. And it is. Half past 12. So, I'm not gonna eat that much today. I'm gonna save all my calories until later on tonight. That's what I'm eating and drinking. So, this is how you stay lean and have a social life. Let's see you guys when I'm back home. What is it? What is it? Who is this? Is that the bros? You seen the bros? Is that the bros? You? You little face. You little face. <laughs> right, guys, I'm back home now I'm with my baby. Andrew, look. Up here, look, look, what's that? <laughs> We're with my baby. Right, I need to go to the gym because I need to pump, but first I need to do my teeth. I still brush my teeth yet and I feel dirty. And I can't train when I feel dirty. Who else is the same? Right, let me do my teeth. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What's your big boy? Oh, is that nice? Is that nice? Is it? Is it? He still thinks he's a puppy. But he is a puppy, but he's massive. Oh, oh, there we go. There's the foot. There's the foot. There's the foot. There we go. There's the foot, baby. Yes. Is that it? Is that the spot? Is that the spot? <laughs> right, let's go to the gym. Is that the spot? Is that the spot? Good boy, yes. What's up, guys? Right, I'm going to try and do this. I've already failed to do this five times already, but I'm going to do it now. Right, this is... Rack pulls are obviously a great substitute for deadlifts. If you can't do deadlifts, I recommend rack pulls if you don't know the form for deadlifts yet. But I did 100 kilos on this. I did obviously the warm-up sets before, get my back warm, get the movement right, make sure nothing felt weird, and then up the weight slowly. I did 8 to 10, eight to 10 reps on this for 4 sets. Again, it's not about trying to get like the magic 12 reps out it's all about time and detention guys all that bollocks about oh i do 8 to 12 doesn't matter if you do 12 reps and you do it in 10 seconds it's not going to be as beneficial for you if you did 8 reps but it took you 40 seconds to do the set it's nice slow squeezy stuff so from lower back i did debt for i did rack pull sorry and i like to work my up so on middle back i did bent over rows with a barbell and for this, I like to imagine there's a tennis ball between my shoulder blades and I'm sliding the bar up my quads, squeezing my rib, my rear shoulder blades together. Again, nice, slow, squeezy, nothing too mental. Time under tension, guys, is everything. And with bicep curls, you don't want to be swinging. <laughs> I did, what's this, I think about 20 kilos on the easy bar for biceps. 20 kilos, nice, slow. Squeezy movements and I did about 8 to 12 reps on this and 4 sets but the last set I did 21. So you know what 21s are? You're doing 7 lower, 7 upper and 7 full reps and believe me that is the best way to finish off any arm sesh. Your, your biceps will be burning after this and I know a lot of people like to do like loads of exercises on biceps but really your biceps are tiny muscle if you think about it to compare to your back or your legs or, or your chest. It's not that big, so you shouldn't be doing that much exercise for biceps, guys. They're only small. So after my bicep curl exercises, I went over and did single arm rows, and it took me about two months to get this form right. 
What I want to do is have my arm all the way down and I'm using my lats to contract and bring up and squeeze. Again, like you're doing with bent over rows, but the single arm. And you want to have like a little diagonal motion to it as well. Nothing too crazy, but just feel like you're going forwards a little bit and back like you're trying to start a lawnmower, like a chainsaw or something like that. And after that, I moved on to hammer, seated hammer curls. Why am I seated? Because I don't like swinging. A lot of people like to swing at the gym, lift weights too heavy. Fuck weight, it's all about form, especially with biceps. You really want to get that squeeze, pump feeling. And the best way to get that pump feeling as well is if you do drop sets. So I went from eight to six kilos and just proper squeeze, pump, squeeze, pump, you know, nothing too heavy, nothing too taxing on the joints, but make sure you're not, not, not swinging, not cheating on yourself, not cheating on the reps, and that. And then after my back, for finish off back, upper back, I did rear delts with the cables that you just seen, and then finished off with old school Arnie bicep curls. Possibly one of the best bicep exercises for me that I really enjoy just to finish off the exercise so I really hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video oh boys and girls it is suns out guns out weather how sick is this I'm so happy it's the weekend and the sun's out because normally if you work at nine to five like me the sun's amazing when you're at work and then when it comes to the weekend it goes to absolute shit but sweating my ass off i couldn't do cardio because i'm literally so strapped for time right now it's annoying but on my workout i had my heart rate really high so i did like lots of supersets not of supersets, drop sets you know just not a lot of rest time keep my heart going make it more of like a cardio session as well as weightlifting session so that's one tip you can do guys if you do not have enough time for a half an hour cardio session less rest times all right right now i've got to go get my hair cut get this sorted out look at it it's horrible, it's long and shit. I got it sexy for tonight. Right, I'll see you guys later on. I'll have to change, look, really. Well, that was a fail. I went to the barbers, looked at it, it says it's closed. 2, 2 p.m. it closes. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, it's now five to three. Shit. Right, so. This ugly mush is going to have to be magic tonight. Hopefully my hair plays ball. If it doesn't play ball, I'm going to be angry. But this just gives me more time to chill out, get ready for tonight, and show you guys what I do before I go on a night out while still on the cut. So let's go back, let's get some food, and get sexy. What's up, guys? I'm back home now with my floppy hair. But I thought, as I'm back, I can give you a quick physique update because I haven't done one in a while, I don't think. I think I don't, I don't know. I can't remember the last time I've done one. If you guys remember, that's cool. This is right. This is how far I've come. More than two bag of my physique so far, but I can just, it's like a thin layer of fat that I just need to get rid of a little bit more, get down to about 12%, and I'll be really happy then. But yeah. Get more definition in my shoulders, and my traps. Right guys, there's enough for me looking like a twat. That's my physique so far, 50% body fat. I really want to get down to 12 before I go to Spain in July the 5th, which is my birthday, which will be the best birthday ever. So you guys definitely come along with that. But right now I need some food that's cook. Some lean, mean. Okay guys, there's literally no food in my dad's house. Like what the fuck is going on? It's like, all I've got so far is bread and eggs. Normally what I have is like a salad bowl and some meat, but there's no side and there's no meat at all. This is the best I can do in the situation. But this is also why intermittent fasting is really good because I haven't, well the only thing I've eaten is a protein brownie. So my carbs are really low at the moment. Normally I have to save my carbs till tonight because obviously I'm going out drinking and eating with friends. That's where all my carbs and that will be consumed. So really what I'll do is keep really low carbs, low fats and pretty much just pure protein. But have eggs by itself, they're really fancy egg whites, I need to have more food than that right about now. So I'm going to have egg on toast. Eggs on toast, that's what I'm going to go for to let you guys know all the protein 
nutrition information. 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 All the all the information on the screen. Right, let's make this shit. Yeah. To the lube at the pan. I'm gonna use this fry light one calorie spray stuff. Get it on. Try and reduce calories as much as possible. Oh shit, drop the shell in there. Damn it. Ow. 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 I can't get the shell. Fuck. Can you use the fuck? Yes. Got it. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for presentation. <laughs> right guys, I'm going to demolish this meal because it's going to be my first one of the day, so it's going to taste so good. Right, I'm going to eat this. See you guys in a bit. <clears throat> right guys, that food was absolutely lush. It's now time to wash it down with a protein shake. And most protein shakes, as I know, a lot of you experience, taste like shit. But this tastes amazing no matter what shake you have. So, let me show you what I do for my protein shakes. What you need, milk, whatever you want. Just throw a little bit at the bottom. Milk done. Low fat Greek yogurt. Where is it? Basically just get a nice consistency. It's going to be really thin and gives it more of a milkshake feel. I like to add some sort of fruit because it a really nice flavour and colour. You can add blueberries, fucking raisins, about whatever you want, add to it. And I'm going to put in my protein, caramel chocolate. One and a half scoops in this. One and a half scoops, that's about 30 grams of whey protein in there. My creatine. And to be honest guys, you guys probably even ask me questions about creatine. It doesn't matter when you take it, or how you take it, or whatever. Creatine is creatine, just five grams a day is fine. You don't need to cycle it. I know people say, oh, should I go on and off? It's not a steroid. It's literally, it's just creatine. That's why it's so cheap, but I love it. So, five grams of creatine. And to make it extra cold and nice, I'm gonna put a couple chunks of ice in it, and then blend it, and we are done. Now the chocolate, yeah, now the chocolate and the strawberries, chocolate flavored protein and the strawberries fruit, tastes so good. Try it guys, let me know what you think. I need to get ready for tonight. Yes guys, I am finally ready. And if you haven't noticed, my tripod, I've got a tripod back. Yay, it's finally delivered a couple days ago. But I'm about to go out now, but I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. I've got Jim King's shirt on with grey skinny stretch jeans from New Look, which I love New Look jeans at the moment, and some simple black top man smart shoes. So yes, and a rotary watch if you're interested. But for those who aren't, I'm about to go out now, go to Belle's house, get a few drinks in, and then head on out. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Who remembers this song then, guys? This song is so good. Wake up at 10, go out to eat, then do it again. I wanna go to college. For the rest this song brings out so many memories. Good morning, guys. Like, last night was a good night. I roughly had, roughly, I've just, well, I got up a couple of hours ago, went out, got some food playing for today. I'm fasting at the moment, still haven't eaten yet. It's 20 past 12 in the afternoon. Last night was a really good night. I really enjoyed myself. <clears throat> Alcohol front, I had eight rum and diet cokes and one Copperberg mixed fruits cider. So you can get alcohol calculators at how much you consume. I think I roughly consumed around about 800 calories in alcohol last night alone. So I will give you like a link of like how to count all your calories and everything like on the bottom in the description so 
that's what I roughly use to judge how much I consume. So last night, even though I went out and I drank with friends and I drank that much, you know, it's not a lot really in comparison to most people because you think about a shot, one shot is roughly 100 calories. So you got to, because, okay, right, beer, beer is roughly 100 calories a bottle. The shots of alcohol is roughly 100 calories. So like Jägermeister and shit like that, tequila, you know, that's roughly 100 calories. So if you have like cider, which is very sugary and all this stuff, then you're looking at around about 200 calories or like lager, which is very fatty. So you're looking at well, maybe 300 calories a pint. So you've really got to weigh it out. I think the best way to go out and socialize is to stick to your straight like liquor, like spirits. So I have rum, because that's what I really like, and Diet Coke, so I have no sugar in the Coke. It's the only calories that's coming just from the alcohol. So. You can do the same with vodka, so you can have vodka and coke, or I don't know, what else do you drink? What do people drink? Vodka, vodka rum. I don't, I just drink Captain Morgan's or Kraken, dark or spiced rum, that's my thing. And I know roughly each glass is roughly 110 calories with Diet Coke. If you ask for Diet Coke, not full fat Coke, that'd be the best thing to do. But yeah, I'll give you guys a link of what you can do for that later on. Right guys, I'm using my other camera so hopefully you can see me well because the other one I use my G7X, I can't use outside because that's splodge. So it comes, it'll be annoying for you. So I'm using my old camera so hopefully the quality is still good. But right now, we're cooking up barbecue. Barbecue food, we've got burgers, kebabs, basically lean meats. We forgot all the bread as well, so we have no carbs. It's literally just meat, so it's gonna taste amazing. And obviously, after last night, I didn't really wanna have too many carbs today, and I got cardio session later. So if you guys wanna lose weight and still have a social life, social life and drink with your friends, definitely intermittent fasting helps out a lot. I still haven't eaten yet. It's, as I said, it's like half 12 in the afternoon. This probably won't, I'm gonna eat until probably about one o'clock. Hold off from eating your food straight away, if you can. Some people can't do intermittent fasting, I understand that. Just keep your carbs low, keep your proteins high, do your cardio, and try and stay off sugary drinks. Just drink a lot of water. Yeah, right now, I've got burgers and stuff coming, and I cannot wait. And I haven't set myself on fire yet, but I have given myself a boo-boo. I'm bleeding, look at that. I can't be trusted, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when the food comes out. Well, that did a really good plan. A day I have had. It's been a great day. Those burgers and the kebabs were absolutely lush. We just chilled out for the rest of the day, watched films, watched Rick and Morty, just chilled out, and it was a really nice end to a Sunday evening. But I got to head back. It's quite late at night. Got to head back, and then I've got to take my creatine because I haven't taken my. Oh, I'm gone dark. I've gone dark. I'm back. I'm back in the room. Got to take my creatine because I haven't taken my creatine yet, and then. I can snug up and go to bed and I've got to wake up in about six hours time for work, which sucks. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope I can help you out with alcohol and socialising and drinking and all sorts of ways to still be sociable and stick to your cut as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog guys. I love you all. Thank you for the support and see you in the next one. I've got new exciting shit to come.